Hey guys, it's Carrie with Mama Dares to DIY, and I really want to thank y'all for tuning into my channel today. Now, if this is your first visit to my channel, I'll say a big hello, or if you're a returning subscriber, I'll say welcome back, my friend. I am so excited about today's video because it is video number two in my Pottery Barn knockoff series for Christmas, and this one goes right along with the first video with the gnomes. And y'all, I've never been a gnome lover, but my first gnome that I made totally made me a gnome lover. So now I just want to have gnomes everywhere. And I'm so shocked at myself because I never thought I would be one of those gnome lovers, but here I am. But anyway, this video is so fun and it's really, really cute. And the knockoff that we're, well, the Pottery Barn item that we're knocking off is new this season and it's really cute and it's fun and it's going to be something great to go on those Dollar Tree, one dollar trees. Going to totally jazz up that little tree and uh, yeah, keep watching and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you're totally missing out. So hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss a single DIY that I upload because y'all fixing to flood you, fixing to give you so much inspiration and so much creativity. You're just going to want to run out to Dollar Tree and pick up everything that you see. So enough talking. Let's get to DIYing and I hope y'all enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to give it a big thumbs up because that would mean the world to me. And yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, now for the next video in our Christmas Pottery Barn knockoff series, I'm going to show you how to dupe the Pottery Barn Gnome Felt Garland. Y'all, this felt garland retails for $39.95 on Pottery Barn's website, and I'm going to show you how to do it with just a few things from the Dollar Tree. And honestly, most of these are left over from the Gnome project that we just did, the number one in this series. So if you missed number one video in this series, definitely go back and check that out because I am going to be using a lot of the same things from that series. Okay, so one of the first things that we're going to be using is this mop, and we used this same mop in the first video in this series. Um, this is just a mop from the Dollar Tree. We took the handle off, but save the handle because I've got another project coming for that, y'all. We don't throw away anything. I try to reuse everything possible. Okay, so we're also going to need one of the towering games. This is the little mini Jenga games that you can get from Dollar Tree. Now, if for some reason your Dollar Tree does not have these, because sometimes they can be hard to find, but if for some reason your Dollar Tree doesn't have them, you can sometimes find them at Dollar General. So be on the lookout for that. And we're also going to need a couple of socks. Now, I'm going to be using the one that I had left over from our previous project for the gnome, but, and it's just one of these, you know, little men's work socks from the Dollar Tree. They come two to a pack. They're really long, and I just love this pattern that's on it, but I'm going to use the one that I had left over. But, you know, you can use the little fuzzy socks from the Dollar Tree. Um, they also have these kind of cool looking socks like we used in our last video. You could definitely use those, but I kind of like the way this looks, so that's what I'm going to go with. And y'all, this is what our cute little mini gnome is going to look like. We're going to string him up on a garland, and he is just going to be absolutely adorable. Now, we're going to need some of our wooden beads that I picked up from Amazon, and I'll be sure to put that link down below. It is an affiliate link, so I'll make a teeny tiny little commission, which just helps me to... Um, you know, keep making all these cool little projects for y'all. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Everything else, um, oh, we're also going to need our jute twine. Of course, y'all know how I love me some jute twine. And we're going to need a package of the little um, pom-poms from Dollar Tree. These come in red and green and white. You get a whole package for a dollar, and we're going to need a package of those too. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is to take out some of our blocks. I'm like I've already got one of those glued on here. So we're going to take just one of our little Jenga blocks, and we're going to take one of our little wooden beads, and we're going to just glue that straight onto the front here. Uh-oh, my 
my little beads are going rolling away. Just try to get it as much in the center as you can. Now I came down probably maybe a half an inch from the top of the block, but you know it's totally up to you how far you want to come down. Okay, so now we're going to take some of our mop, and someone had told me in my last video that you don't actually have to cut your mop, so I was like, oh, let me check that out and see. And y'all, literally, you can just pull your little strings out, so I kind of felt dumb, but thanks for the viewer that told me about just being able to pull that out, because it's a genius idea. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is to figure out how long we want our little beard for our gnome. Now I want mine to hang down slightly from my side piece of my, my jingle block. So it's going to be, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. And that's almost in half. So you know what, it's not even worth it. I'm just going to go cut them in half. That way that'll make life easy. And I'm going to use my Fiskars Easy Action Scissors. If you've never used these, they are a total lifesaver. See, there's a long piece, so we're actually going to have to measure this one. And I'll put a link down below for these Easy Action Scissors, too. These guys have totally changed my life. And these little Jenga blocks are so small, it really doesn't take many. Let's see how many I used here. One, two, three, four, six, seven. I used roughly eight strands here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Whoops. I'm trying to get used to my new setup, y'all. This is kind of hard. It's so organized, I don't really know how to feel. I kind of function better in mass chaos, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Okay, so I am going to save this one little piece because I'm going to use this for his little mustache. I just think the little mustache makes him look cute, but if you don't, then you know you don't have to. You don't have to do that. And we're going to do just like we did in our last gnome video. We're just going to put a little hot glue on our block. And loop our piece of mop over his top. I'll stick me a little piece of glue here. Okay, so now we'll just take our hot glue and go all the way around our whole jingle block. This seriously takes no time at all. And now I am going to cut one more piece to put in the middle here. Isn't he cute? Oh, I just love him. Okay. So now we'll just take our last little piece, and I'm going to trim his little mustache up a little bit. And we'll just kind of ravel the end a little bit, kind of pull it so that it's kind of tapered at the end. 
If you have to clip it, that's fine too. You just want it to be kind of pointed at the end. And then we'll just twist it like so. I do have my craft sticks that I should be using to hold this down, but I have to find them first. <laughs> I organized and I can't find anything. I put them in a bin somewhere and I haven't found that bin yet. Okay, so now we're ready to give this cute little guy a hat. So, to do our hat, we're going to take our sock and we're going to cut a piece roughly two inches. If it's bigger than two inches, that's okay too. His hat will just be taller, but it needs to be at least two inches. And actually, I might throw this away. I don't think there's anything I can do with the little foot of this sock. Okay, so this is actually going to make two hats. We're only going to need one side of this. So let's just use our scissors. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna make another gnome and that's what I'll make this one out of. But for now, let's just focus on this guy. So all we're gonna need to do is to cut, we want to make a little triangle. So we wanna turn this into a triangle because this is gonna be his hat. So we just wanna kinda of taper the end. Actually, it may be easier to do it this way. I'm gonna use my longer scissors. We just want to put a little bitty drop of glue on the edge and we're going to roll our little gnome hat. We just want a little drop to hold it in place while we finish putting them together. Okay, so now we'll just take our glue and run us another little bead. And I like that the back of his hat is a little bit pointed, but if you want to make this go, you know, just in a circle, you can totally do that. It's up to you. But I kind of like to make the front roll up a little bit. And I kind of like the back to go down. But that's just the way I like to do it. You can totally just cut them in a circle, though. Okay. So now we're just going to glue his little hat on. Isn't he cute? Oh, I just love him. He is adorable. Okay, so we'll just put a little drop of hot glue here. And I like to make his little hat come down right above his nose. But some people like to make it come up higher. It's totally up to you. This is your gnome. You make him be his own little guy, his own little personality. And you can do them all different. They don't have to all be the same.
we'll just make sure we go all the way around with our glue and just slide his little hat over. All right, and our little guy is almost done. Now, the last thing that I want to do is to take one of our little mini pom-poms that are in our package and I just want to glue a little mini pom-pom right on the top of his hat. You don't have to. And actually the one from Pottery Barn does not have a little pom-pom on the top. But I just thought this was a cute little addition to his little hat. So I'm going to repeat this process and I'm going to make a couple more. I've already got a red one done. I'll do um, this one's white and I'll do a green one. I'll probably do maybe one or two of each. And after we get through making more of these, then I'll show you how we're going to string it up. Okay, so now we're ready to put the green one on this guy. Okay. There we go. Aren't they cute? I just love them. Now you can leave them like this. You could actually just take a little piece of jute twine or a little piece of yarn and make you a little hanger and make these a little mini ornament to go on your little Dollar Tree mini trees. But we're actually going to take these and string them up and make them into our Pottery Barn dupe garland. So to make this next step happen, we're going to need our jute cord and we're going to need our pom-poms. Our pom-poms from the Dollar Tree. These pom-poms come in red, white, and green, all in a little package, and they're all different sizes. And I'll put a few on here so you can kind of see the different sizes. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a little pattern with these, but I'm not 100% sure what that pattern is gonna be. So I'm just gonna try to group all of the same ones together here. And I've already got my red ones done. Okay. So let me show you what this is going to look like when it's all strung together. Look at that. Isn't it cute? It's such an easy dupe. And I just, you know, for Dollar Tree stuff, totally does not look like Dollar Tree stuff, does it? It's going to be so cute. Okay, so I did go big medium, medium. The small ones I really could not get to um, string on very well, so I'm probably not going to use those. I'm probably just going to use the two bigger sizes here. So we'll just move these guys out of the way. And I just cut me a piece of my jute cord, roughly five feet long. And I went red, white, green, and then my red gnome, and then I reversed the pattern. So I think I'll do my white gnome next. And y'all, we're just going to go to the back. And don't go all the way to the top. You want to kind of put your needle kind of just above your jingle block. We're just going to thread them on here. And after I get this placed where I want it, I will go back and put just a little drop of hot glue so that it doesn't move. Let's see if the pattern I want to do next. Maybe I'll do maybe I'll do green next. So I'll do a big green. small red and it doesn't have to be a pattern you can just randomly put them on it's no worries you make your gnome be whatever you want it to be okay so now let's put our green gnome on and again you want to go close to your base
reverse our pattern here. white, red, and then green. Okay, y'all, and that's it. You make your garland ever how long you want it to be. But isn't that just adorable? I'll hang this guy up so you can see it all put together. But y'all, this was just a quick and easy little garland. And the, like I said, the one from Pottery Barn it does retail for $39.50, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I've got roughly, you know, a couple of dollars in this one. Totally cute. The gnomes are all the latest rage this season, and this is going to go great on the little mini trees from the Dollar Tree. So y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up because that would mean the world to me. And until next time, happy DIYing y'all. Mm -hmm.